Hi, welcome to a Chun TV chili pepper tasting where we've got yet another in the treasure trove from Bohica Pepper Hut. This is a red MA Wartrix. We did the yellow last week. A little bit of a letdown, um, specifically in the aroma and flavor departments. It was a pretty neutral pot. It was almost like not not being a pot at all. Uh, it was just just heat. Um, I've had a, a red Wartrix before, not in a, you know not in this fashion, but I've, I've eaten it uh, in various uh, culinary you know applications, and I really like the citrusy fruity taste that you get from these. So I'm hoping that this pot is going to deliver that for me. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Um, yeah, so th this. Uh, this is bred by Matthew Arthur. It's a cross of an unknown uh, lineage, so we're not really actually sure what a Wartrix is. Uh, I do know it has a one-of-a-kind look. Maybe a bit of a Scotch bonnet, cousin? I'm not sure. Uh, it's hard to say. But um, it sits at like 1 to 1 1.2 million scovels. And uh, yeah, we're right, right here in the last moments of this being edible. Ooh. It does have a nice aroma. It's got that Chinensi super hot kind of... Uh, fear itself smell, but it also has a really nice fruitiness, kind of reminds me of a habanero or a scotch bonnet. It's not really floral, maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but it does, it does have a nice fruity aroma. So if you look um, inside, you got a big old hunk of membrane there, tiny bit of visible oil, not a ton. Um, it, does, it does smell nice. And I'm excited, and I hope this one will deliver uh, in the flavor and aroma. The aroma is nice, I really enjoy that. I feel like if you threw this, uh, if you were making like a cobbler and you just chucked this in there um, to steep with the fruit and then took it back out, um, then you'd end up with a beautiful chili head filling for your cobbler, especially like a peach cobbler. Yeah. Cheers, you two. A little bit sweet, a little tiny bit. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's hot already. It is a little bit sweet. Um, not very sweet, but a little touch. And then the aroma really does come through. You get like a nice kind of fruity aroma in your sinuses. And the burn has a little bit of a uh, black peppery kind of sensation. I really think this might be part scotch bonnet on some level. It reminds me of that a number of ways. The shape is a little similar. Um, kind of the bell. I mean, it's more pronounced on this, but it's got that little bit of a bell shape. That ring around it. Um, and scotch bonnets tend to have like a bell kind of shape at the bottom. Um, it's got that fruitiness, the not citrusy fruitiness, and scotch bonnets also have that. <clears throat> and then this kind of black peppery mouthfeel in the burn, and scotch bonnets have that too. So I really think this might be on some level with scotch bonnet pepper on like all the Ninja Turtle juice. <laughs> but uh, it's very hot. And it's kind of centralized in the front. My gums, my lips, my tongue, and my nose. Uh, the yellow one got me there too. This one's getting me a little more. My nose kind of like almost like a wasabi or a horseradish sensation in the nose. Um, the back of my throat's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. The roof of my mouth isn't too bad. My jowls are good. It's funny how peppers burn at different places like that. And some of it I think boils down to where you're chewing it and stuff. But um, that's a pretty good pot. Yeah. I like that. Um, yes, I was. I've been hurting. Last week was a rough pot week. Um, only in the sense that I, I struggled to find one that really tasted nice and gave me that. To me, that's the best part of eating fresh chili peppers is having that that beautiful, rich flavor. Um, you kind of you're in like a little bit of a secret society when you do that. The people that wouldn't normally get to taste that, but then they do. But that's a really good. Um, yeah, uh, the red M.A. Wartrix fruity. Not too floral, uh, not very citrusy, just fruity. Nice aroma, cool, interesting burn, like a black peppery sensation around your mouth. Um, pretty dang hot. I would place this particular pod a little bit milder than a ghost pepper. Or maybe the same intensity, but easier to endure. It's not quite as deep of a, of a pain. And uh, definitely one of the most flavorful uh, super hots.
man, yeah, it's right up there. Uh, there's not too many super hots that taste great, and you know, especially ones that have been you know created by breeding and not by nature. Uh, the best super hot is still a ghost pepper. It tastes so delicious. Carolina Reapers are pretty good, and this is right there in that conversation. It's really delicious, and the burn is such that. It's not like a cartoon, like comical, over-the-top burn. Like, it's hot, but it's it's hot in the sense that it would be really nice if cooked correctly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I might try to grow some uh, Wartrixes, Wartrixes next year. I know I haven't posted many garden videos. It's because this it's so hot and dry. All my blossoms keep falling, and I got nothing. <laughs> like, nothing. My garden is a wasteland. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, in the event that, it, that somehow I get some fruit out of there, believe me, I'll share it with you. But for now, I'm kind of relying on the kindness of strangers this year. Um, yeah, so Bohica Pepper Hut. Uh, if you're going to get pods from them, you have to get them in a mixed box. Um, you know, you, you could ask, I guess, uh, for specifics. But really, they're kind of, you know, they sell Reapers only. And they sometimes they'll have like a box of all, all orange or all yellow. And usually, you just get the mixed super hot box. That's what I got. It had one of these in there. Uh, this is probably the tastiest thing in that box. And it was really, really enjoyable. Really good. Uh, good job, Mojica Pepper Hut. This is a tasty pie. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, quick subscribe if you haven't already. We do uh, hot sauce reviews. We eat some fresh peppers. Uh, plus spicy products. I'm drooling a little bit. And uh, many other things besides. Uh, click the bell. You'll be notified every time we venture forth into the chili unknown uh, to retrieve a new experience for you. And click like if you enjoyed this video. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy what remains of your Tuesday afternoon. And I will catch you next time. Bon